welcome back. So come out here today to um to do a climb, bypass some limbs. I got a tree here. I think might as well use that one. I'm not gonna get too high. My uh, rappel rope is uh, not real long on this uh, um, prototype rappel rappel ready two tether. But um, let's take a look. So if I'm going to bypass limbs here, uh, use it a little bit differently than I normally would. I'm going to get this around the tree and then uh, move it up. I'm going to drop my rappel line right now. And I'm going to give myself a lot of slack here. And I'll take this hitch or bypass link and set it up, close it, and then I can move that. just as high as I can. For my first, for my first move, my first hookup. And tend my, uh, let's see. on my rappel line up so I have weight on that on that upper and then let's see if I can do this here and get my foot in this hitch or this foot loop I keep calling everything a hitch but I'm going to get my foot in the loop and tend, and tend my, uh, I had an alarm go off. All right. So I made my, I, I hooked my, I hooked my bypass link up. I made my first step up. I'm going to. I'm going to tend that uh, stirrup into the tree, and then I'm going to tend my I'm going to tend my uh, saddle connection in, and then I take my uh, I'll take my what's normally my lower and I'll open it up. And I'm going to get it up, see if I can get it up, uh, get it up past some of this stuff. So 
Let me see if I can get it past that. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, let's see. If I can close this. Close that and draw that up. And I can move this stirrup up. I get my foot in it and get it up as high as it can. And then once I step up, I'm gonna tend this other, I'm gonna tend that uh, connection up. And tend it up again. And tend it up one more time. So now I'm up as high as that hitch can get me. Or I can move this up again after I get, I'm gonna get my other tether free like that and get some slack on it. and go up again as high as I can and then repeat this process of closing the link let's see and come around here Get myself some slack. I can put this in here. And tighten that down. And I can move my stirrup. Up, but what it looks like I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to switch feet. Put move my left foot to this stirrup, and uh, as I go up, I can turn this line up. So now all my weights on what is normally my upper. Open this up again. And bring it back to the correct side. Well, the way I normally use it will be on my left. But uh, I can move my I'm going to move my uh, right foot into this stirrup and then again I can come up around and I'll get a little slack And then, now I can tend, tend that tether. 
then move the stirrup up. Get my foot in there. And then as I stand, I'm gonna tend, tend that up and then tend the stirrup up and then up. I can move this tether up again. Swing me around the side, so I'm gonna go with that. But uh, that's it. It's doable. It's not as fast as uh, is climbing a telephone pole, but uh, it's uh, it's fairly straightforward. I mean, it's flexible. It's a more flexible system now. I can uh, take my weight off of this rappel, which would be normally my upper, and I open it up. And then I'm gonna move it up above. If I were to hunt from this height, I'm gonna move this up to here. You can sit back. Well, let me tend this up a little bit more. Tend. And the other one. So I can get some slack on this. And uh, So that's closed and I can position that right up here. And then I'm gonna tend my stirrup up and tend my saddle harness connection up. Put my foot in the stirrup, and uh, normally for me, I'd be hunting. <laughs>